I think what you've got to realise if you want to be an actor is that you're always going to have horrific auditions. <laughs> you just will. You'll always have auditions where you come out thinking, oh my God, I wish I hadn't said it like that. Or, or you'll realise how you should have read once you come out. I think you've got to get used to being humiliated. <laughs> sort of in a way, I think you do. Because you've got to get used to, to, um, to auditioning and, and failing at auditions. It's nothing personal. When you first start auditioning and you audition it and it doesn't go well, you think, oh God, it's the end of the world. I really wanted that part. But there'll be loads of other parts. And the more you audition, the better you get at it and the less it affects you, the less sick you feel after you leave. <laughs> Usually it's more whether I can bring something to a part. Uh, because sometimes I'll get a script and there'll be a great part in it, but I don't think that it's right for me, or I know that I haven't got, I can't bring anything to it, or anything that I think is interesting enough to bring to that part. But I like to be surprised, I like to do different roles. So if it's something very different that I've never played before, I, then, then I'm drawn to that. Getting into um, uh, a part is, is different with each project. Like for Conk, I sort of have to throw a switch in my head and that's all it is because I've been doing it so long. But if it's a new, a new thing, then um, sometimes getting into costume can help. Uh, yeah, it's different each time. I do like to plan a character in advance as much as I can, but then obviously when you get with the other actors, that influences your character and changes it a little bit. But some things you're just acting on your own. So, like Philomena Conk, it's just me and everyone else is, is a real person and I'm sort of acting in my own bubble. The best piece of advice is to use what you've got and to work out what's, what's valuable about what you can do. Because it, it, it sort of took me ages to work out what was funny about my own personality. And I think everyone, especially if you want to do comedy, you need to work out what is funny about you and, and your face and your physicality and use that rather than try and change it. Because if you go to a drama school, they'll try and change your accent and your posture and make you into this perfect actor rather than an interesting actor. You don't have to go to drama school. You can take other routes. I don't know what those routes are. <laughs> well, I took stand-up. I, I went to drama school and, and didn't work for ages after drama school and then started doing stand-up and writing my own material. And I think that's what got casting directors interested in me, whereas before I was just the last in a long row of another actor you know, a line of actors, but with stand-up, you sort of mark yourself out a little bit more. So I think writing your own stuff is good, and performing, live performing, I thought that that helps. There's always, like, people that you work with that you think, oh, you're good, aren't you? <laughs> but hopefully you take what you, you can get from them, steal, steal from the best. I hope you can pick the bones out of that. <laughs> <laughs>